I feel like I don't fit in. Hi guys, so remember I said we were gonna go shopping. We're currently at Ginza 6, which is a very well-known shopping area. And there are so many stories up here. Can't wait to show you. Let's go. Let's look higher, because I feel like this is like luxury fashion. I just wanted to look at more affordable clothing. Okay, so yeah, these are all the shops. I don't know, it's all so nice. Yeah. I feel like I don't fit in. I definitely don't. We just wear Old Navy. <laughs> Coffee and cake cans Ginza. They're apparently really well known for their little kitten thing. Oh, okay. Go upstairs. So we finally made it into Ken's coffee and the wait time was totally bearable. Like 10 minutes. I was expecting probably 20 to 30 minutes because it's around 1 p.m. which is the time where a lot of people come to get coffee and relax. But made it in. I think I'm gonna get this one. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Hazy, come here and she ordered this. So I'm gonna get this one too. Strawberry cake. I love strawberry, so I'm so excited. Looks so soft and delicate. <laughs> I like Asian cakes because it's not very sweet. Because a lot of American cakes are very sweet. This is not very sweet, which is really great. <laughs> mm. Cafe mocha. Guys, this is so cute. Look at this little cappuccino. Cappuccino. Cappuccino, yes. This is my first time seeing something like this. Only in Japan will you see stuff like this. Do the jiggle. Boop, 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 boop. What do you think? So you can tell, we pretty much finished everything. I thought the strawberry cake was so good. Like I've never had such a delicious strawberry cake. I liked that it wasn't very sweet, and I was also able to finish Steven's cake too, which is really rare because usually he would finish my food. In terms of the cat cappuccino, it's really good. It is strong, but you know, cappuccinos are strong. So I pretty much finish it. So yes, I would highly recommend this place because if you want cute pictures and cute cat stuff, this is the place to go. So this afternoon, we walked past an alley and we saw this bakery restaurant right here, Patissier Puroya. There's a long line of people and we're like, what is this hype with this bakery? Like, why is there such a long line? So we came back at night, we got some cream puff and we're going to see what the hype or what the line is about. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. They give us such a beautiful little box. Cream puff one and cream puff two. This is like a little cold ice thing. The first bite. Mmm. So the outer crust, super crunchy. Kind of reminds me of a pineapple bun type of crust, crunchy feeling. The cream, very smooth. Like that's not very sweet. Good. Recommend. Hello guys, this is day five of our Japan trip. We just arrived at Shibuya and we got a lot planned for today. We're gonna grab some coffee right now and then later on we're gonna go to a hedgehog cafe in Harajuku and also we're gonna go to the Shibuya skyline at sunset. So it's gonna be so beautiful. I am so, 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 so excited. Let's go. Guys, I thought there were no homeless people in Japan, but we have seen some homeless people. Just made it to the little coffee place that we're going to try today. It is called Saru Tahiko Coffee. Nice these cafe 
are turned out. I got an egg sandwich, croissant, matcha latte, of course, and the specialty coffee. This is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> that the matcha is so foamy, like on the top. It has so much foam, like so creamy. I like love that type of stuff. It's good. Steven says it's good. <laughs> Do you see that long line over there of people waiting to take a picture? That is little Hachiko. And it's apparently a well-known Japanese Akira dog. And the story behind it is that its owner was a professor at the Tokyo Imperial University. And every day after the owner would come back from work, little Hachi would wait by the station for the man. His name is Ueno. And it's so sad because even after the professor passed away due to like a stroke or something, the dog would wait at the same spot at the station for nine years. That's so crazy. Such loyalty and devotion. And that's just story behind it and little Hachi died in I think 1935 but his memory still lives on to a lot of Japanese people and I think there are like multiple statues of the dog all throughout Japan. In Japan you'll see many vending stores all around the streets and also in shopping malls and they are so colorful they have so much variety of drinks and whatnot the coffee tea water soda you name it so it's my first time I'm gonna try getting these peachy flavored water and it's super convenient too because there's so many options to pay you can either pay with like coins which is like the standard one line pay visa card american express you can also use i believe your suka card which is like the ones that we use to go into the trains and whatnot so i downloaded the suka card on my apple wallet so i like this you know let's see double tap. I have to pick what I want. This one is 160. Now I tap. Oh my god. That was so scary and so fast. Oh. Give it a taste. Mm, it's like peach water. It's good. Refreshing. Here it is again in the middle of the day. I know it's so much more busier than in the morning we when go. we went. Oh my god. What do you think, huh? Wow, I'm glad we came early because there's so many people. It's like a stampede of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just landed at Harajuku Station. So we'll walk through the street and look for food. Let's go. How are you, huh? Oh, I'm hungry. Shopping was so much work. Yeah? Well, you're gonna show everyone your haul, right? Yeah. Well, you're not typically a, a shopper girl, I right? Know. I don't shop, but hubby made me shop. So yes. I have. While you're in Japan, right? Yeah. We are stopping at this place called... I don't know. Okay, the reason why we came was because it was off the main street because as you can tell, there were so many people. We ordered pizza, some pasta, and they're known for their macaron cream puff. So we got a matcha macaron cream puff too. This is the meat pizza. It's like a very thin crust. Tastes good. My carbonara, I like the presentation, but I do think the noodles are a little bit hard. <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna be a little more softer. So That's still good. Cream puff mixed with a macaron. It's perfect. We are finally at the Harajuku Hairy Hedgehog Cafe. And look at these little cute hedgehogs right here. So we made a reservation for one hour and there's so many here to do. There's a meerkat and also a hamster. And we also get two free drinks. But let's start. I'll put on our little gloves. We also got some uh, like mealworms to, to feed the hedgehog. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, okay, let me try this one yeah. first. I'm so calm. I like the calm. Oops. Aww. <laughs> I'm so sorry I disrupted your sleep. Am I mean? Are you mean? You're teasing him. Stop. 
Oh, wow, that was a fast one. Um, so these are the resting hedgehogs where we can't touch. So I guess they rotate them, but they're just sleeping. Wow, look at that big fat one over there. Wow, this is a little hamster right here. So cute. Sleepy hamster. Hello. <laughs> And then you can also get one free drink per person. We are done with the hedgehog experience. Probably took us 20, 25 minutes. I think this is more for kids, like if they're super interested in touching animals and playing with them. But you know, we're adults, so. Well, it's like, you know, a couple pets here and there, but apparently these hedgehogs, they don't like to be turned upside down or also squiggle around. And then if you pet them, don't like poke and pet them. You should like slide and be gentle with it. I feel sad for them because they just want to sleep. And then here, the humans are just playing with them. Also, I would recommend reserving a place in advance. At first, we thought, okay, there wasn't going to be a lot of people, but we are coming on a weekend on a Sunday. And as you can tell, like the room is pretty packed. And I feel like if we didn't have a reservation, we would probably have had to wait. It's like a once in a lifetime experience. Okay, so we finally made it back to Shibuya because we booked tickets for Shibuya Sky at around sunset, around 4.20 p.m. So here is the line to go in. And as you can tell by the sign, tickets are sold out for today. So buy it way in advance, like probably one to two months in advance because as you can tell, tickets sell out. And especially during the sunset hours because it's so beautiful. You get to see the skyline of Shibuya. So we're gonna go up soon to see how it is. We are on the like 45th floor. Oh shoot, babe. Oh shoot, like when I look down, I feel so scared. I'm scared. Yeah, I can't. That's one of the benefits of being a little bit blind. It's hard to tell you're really high up. I'm getting really scared. Why? I can't look. I literally feel like fear a of death. Height. Yeah, like a height fear because I'm literally imagining if there was an earthquake. Oh, uh, earthquake would be fine. What do you mean? You don't think that they built these uh, buildings to handle earthquakes? I don't know. <laughs> So there's this area called the Sky Gallery where they have additional stuff to look at. Ooh, bouncy balls. I love big balls. <laughs> Ooh, oh Ooh, yeah. Ooh, it's a nice shot. Ooh, I would like a photo here too. Sure. You having a good time? Yes, it's so beautiful.